welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing good. I've got some exciting new chameleon powders to try in today's video and I'm sure I'll use them again because they're gorgeous. These are the Emma Cook um, chameleon powders. Now Emma Cook is known as the Tiny Turner. She's an incredible wood turner and Wendy over at Toonpish Crafts is a distributor of these powders. Now Wendy sent them to me to have a play around with so I will leave the details down below for Wendy's website if you are interested in these. Again, these are made by Emma but distributed by Wendy. I'm not affiliated, I'm not sponsored, I don't earn any commission. If you guys decide to go and get these, I just was sent them to have a play and see what I think about them. The colours are stunning, they are intense, but I also love the names. Do you know when there's just a creative name like Arcane and Ether and yeah, they're really, really cool. Now my first thoughts were do like a swatch board just so that I know what they look like so if I want to use them again I can I can just have a little swatch that I've done before with other chameleon powders as well and I decided to use this mold here now this is the heart silicon mold that I got from Amazon a while back and I'll be honest chameleon powders works differently depending on the silicon and I just felt like I wasn't getting the intensity that I knew these powders had in them. So I swapped out for this mold. Now, this is the kind of like scalloped edge medallion mold from Molds and Shapes. I decided to use this. I already know that chameleon powders and mica powders tend to take better on this kind of thicker, squishier silicon than they do on the more thinner, more transparent, clear silicons. I'm hoping that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense what I'm saying. But yeah, first color up and oh my goodness me, immediately different. You can see the difference between what it looked like on the first mold compared to this mold. This is a stunner, absolute stunner. Next up we have Poison. Now there's two colors in this set that I've never seen before, I've never experienced before. The other colors I feel like they're familiar to me, like I've got them in other brands and other ranges, but this one here, the Poison, it is stunning. It's like a, what well, is green meets red, like green meets red meets purple meets insane sunset or sunrise. It, it, yeah, really, really, beautiful beautiful color so i'm just using a fluffy brush just to brush the chameleon powders all over next up we've got inferno now this is another color that i'm not familiar with as soon as i put it down on the mold i felt like i'd never seen this color before in a chameleon or a mica even it's like a burnt orange burnt um, ombre umber <laughs> what's the word? It's rusty. It's like a terracotta rusty metal colour and it is by far my favourite in this set, hands down. There is no doubt in my mind I'm going to be using this more and imagine this in autumn. Oh, stop it. It is a glowing, burning, I mean that's why it's got the name it's got because it does look like a campfire in autumn. It's just beyond beyond stunning. If I could just get a whole pot of this, that would be a dream for me. Next up, we've got nature. This is absolutely beautiful. It's the, it's a green stroke yellow, gorgeous, gorgeous color. But again, very similar to other chameleons that I've used. It's those two in the middle that stood out to me and are a wow factor. And I'm already craving... <laughs> Guys, I'm already craving autumn. Don't come for me, please. Don't come for me. I know we haven't yet, you know, reached summer, but I'm I'm ready. I'm re I'm ready for pumpkins. <laughs> oh gosh. I think being on YouTube, you're always mentally, you're always ahead of a season. Does that make sense? If any of you guys are here and you create videos for YouTube and you go via seasons like me, I'm always thinking one season ahead. I really I really shouldn't be. <laughs> I should be focused on the here and now. Um, but yeah, 
Again, we've got a gorgeous purple blue and then we've got this stunning turquoisey green teal blue. Again, one of my favourite colours in the world is blue because of the different shades. But this one here, stunning. Again, reminds me of other chameleons that I have used, but this one here, my favourite. My absolute favourite. So I think that's Inferno is the one on the right, the orangey burnt rust colour is the one now if you want to back these in epoxy resin go ahead absolutely do it add in your black pigment because black pigment is going to make these colors absolutely pop now for speed i am using the black polyurethane that i got from denise over at i love mixed media now tragically you guys will have heard me mention i love mixed media many many times Sadly, she has closed down her store. So it's not a store that is available anymore online. However, I think Denise does have, well, I know she still has a Facebook page. I love mixed media and she still does have some stock of some things. So if you do want anything like this, go check out her Facebook page and see what she's got left. But sad sad day to learn that Denise has closed up shop but I used the black polyurethane it is a super fast curing medium and literally 30 minutes later here we are these are stunning now I'll be honest <laughs> this is me smiling like hello <laughs> proper mirror reflective surface um my brush marks you can still see some of my brush marks in the surface here so they're not per they're not the most perfect finished results but the colors are without doubt super color shifting and stunning i was just so excited i was so excited for that inferno to see what that looked like and to see if i was getting the the you know the autumn vibes that i was hoping for and this one here again it's just screaming sunset it is beautiful even the edges everything about it definitely a color I've not experienced before and this one alongside the inferno guys wait till you see it how stunning is this this is like there is a fire in the distance you know when well, it's not a good thing <laughs> it's not a good thing but I guess that's why it's called inferno because it truly does look like a raging fire with the golds and the reds and the yellows coming through it's just a stunning stunning autumnal warm shade and this one here again it's the purple blue color shifting absolutely beautiful but I'm very familiar with this color I feel like I've seen this before but Mm. <laughs> are, are we all understanding that inferno is my favorite this one here is nature i really love this color as well it's got a dark blue light blue stroke green color shift really really beautiful i i really would love to know the science behind chameleon powders but this is what they're looking like from above they're all very very different and then if i pan down with the camera you'll see them all completely change color something completely different and yeah that is why they're called chameleons because they change color in this stunning now of course i couldn't leave it here what you want to do with these is entirely down to individual choice you could go down the temporary tattoo route you could go down the cricket vinyl decal route you could you could choose some holographic foils anything you want to add to the surface of these but I decided to try some tattoos I've never tried before here on my channel I've had these years they are originally from Amazon but they are the metallics now I rarely use metallic tattoos in videos but I figured if any tattoo is going to work with these it's going to be these gold and silver metallics now I just cut out a few that I figured would work on the surfaces of these I had no real defined plan because at first I was just planning to do a color swatch like this is what they look like and this I can reference this when I use them in the future but I figured I really should finish them off and make them complete finished pieces so these are temporary tattoos like I said make sure you peel off that plastic protective layer flipping them upside down up upside down flipping them upside down and placing them down 
on to the surface and then I'm just using a water bottle to squeeze the water down on. I'm actually finding this method a lot easier than using a soaked saturated flannel. Um, it's amazing how much water these temporary tattoos soak in. So yeah, I'm just finding that pouring the water directly down on top before rubbing them a little bit, they come off so much quicker and faster. Now guys, check this out. I mean, the colour, the... Oh, <laughs> the chameleon. I'll be honest, the edge of this tattoo was not giving... I was not happy with how scruffy it looked. I did end up wiping it a little bit around the edge and it made it so much better. But that colour, that inferno is, is next level. Again, with the nature. And the top right is the poison. They're just stunning. Really, really beautiful. This one here with the purple and the, and the blue. I think it was a good choice using silver and gold because I often feel like silver and gold just work with everything like they really do work with everything and they really go the only tattoo i <laughs> i'm not a massive lover of is the butterfly i'm not big on butterflies i i just rarely do anything butterfly-esque on my channel i love the real thing but i'm not a fan of art butterfly art so yeah that's the one i'm not 100 keen on this is me just trying to cover up my uv resin from the uv rays i've had so many suggestions from you guys mostly to just work at night which is not something i can do sadly but i did an okay job it was only at this point see it on the left ah i poured way too much don't be like me guys don't be like me if you are here if you are new here and you're expecting perfect results from me <laughs> you got the wrong girl you got the wrong girl if I waited until anything I ever did came out perfect there would be no channel there'd be no videos <laughs> there'd be no Claire's Crafty Corner um every single video I ever do without fail has a little something something it has a slip up or a little oops. Um, so yeah, I, I've learned to live with it. It's okay because it's all handmade with love, not perfection. Now this was a big oops. As you saw, this one fell over the edge. I put too much resin on at once. It seeped over. I used my knife to carve the edge and the top completely popped off. This was after it had cured. Now, if any of you know Wendy from Toonpish Crafts, we all know that UV resin does not stick to epoxy resin and or polyurethane. It does, <laughs> it does, but if you get a blade and you hack at the side of it, then it will pop off. Um, <laughs> I've never, ever, ever had this happen to me before. So I was just like, can I just do one thing? Just one thing? Now, it would have been really cool maybe to just immediately brush the back of that piece of resin that uv brush the back with some chameleon powders maybe back that in black and just get a really thin sliver of resin that would have been cool but no i decided to put some more uv resin down and really stick it to the surface of that stunning inferno why why though my favorite color and that's the one i mess up come on it was a hot mess it didn't get any better i tried gluing it back down i used too much again so i made another one i went back with the chameleon powders i mixed up some more polyurethane just to show you that color on its own with no tattoo on top but i think they all came out really cool really really cool now like i said the only one i don't really like is the butterfly i also feel like the tattoo itself gets a bit lost it's a bit too dark for the color but the rest are yeah they're cool they're like i guess geometric shapes and arrows and chevrons and all of that really kind of cool architectural shapes shapes i don't normally use on my channel but these two colours, oh, oh sorry, you just see my face there with my mask on. These two colours I'm loving, loving, loving. Now these were something I've tried many, many times, but Daniel Cooper's actually done these on his channel, where you just put mica powder on your silicon mat, you brush the chameleon powder onto your silicon mat, you just pour a blob of UV resin, you cure it on the silicon mat, and then you peel them up and give them a little black background. I just wanted to see if it would work with these chameleon powders and it worked a dream. But, oh my gosh, this one, this one, I can't get enough, I can't get enough. I'm going to get some more, 
I am going to actually go and purchase some from Wendy. Um, I still have some, of course, but I know that autumn is coming and I know that that is going to be my go-to chameleon powder this autumn. Um, but yeah, this is what they're looking like. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know which colour is your favourite. If you're like me and the bottom right is really gripping your attention because I've never seen a colour like it. But yeah, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. And if you are interested in these powders, it is Wendy at Toonpish Crafts, who is a distributor for Emma, who creates these powders. So go hit up Wendy. I will leave the details below. Emma Cook is the original creator of these, of these chameleons. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.